we're talking about uh, five proven systems to pay off your debts quickly. A very exciting topic, as you all, I'm pretty sure, will agree. Uh, especially on this uh, sunny day in Houston, Texas, uh, when my thermometer shows uh, 84 degrees Fahrenheit or 29 degrees Celsius. Well, the first method uh, I'm going to tell you about was introduced by George R. Klassen in his uh, series of pamphlets uh, back in 1920s called uh, The Rich Man from uh, Babylon. Uh, the great part about this book is that now it's available for free online because I guess there's no more copyright and you can see the link to the website where you can read this great uh, little uh, thin book uh, at the bottom of the screen. Basically what he was saying uh, is that you need uh, to save at least 10% of all your earnings and you have to use 20% towards your uh, debts which works great and by the way all these systems I'm going to talk about I try them because uh, as most people you know I run into debt and then I pay it off and then I run it run into it again not always it's your fault or basically uh, things happen maybe you know someone in your family gets sick right or like in my case I borrowed money from the Visa credit card to renovate my uh, co condo apartment uh, thinking that you know this will increase the value and then I can uh, you know get a second mortgage you know and uh, pay off the card but what happened in reality is that when the lady from the bank showed up to do an assessment she didn't find any increase in value so I was stuck with that bill for I think I spent like six or seven thousand bucks you know which is still on my card anyway so things uh, things happen right but mostly all these authors uh, of these uh, proven systems agree that uh, debt is just a symptom you know uh, if you just if you only pay off the debt and don't do anything about your habits uh, you will run into debt again so basically the debt uh, says that you overspend and you are under and you under save for example in my case if I had some uh, savings you know I could have borrowed from that from that account to pay for the repairs you know and that's why uh, George Klassen was saying that you must save at least 10 percent and he was uh, um, you know vehement about uh, using the 10 percent not for stuff like you know uh, dining and uh, and going out and restaurants and movies and travel but for investments and his specific advice was to choose investments where uh, your principal is guaranteed so his system was 1020 let's say if you deposit thousand bucks into your account you put put you set aside hundred dollars for your savings that you later use as uh, as an investment and you uh, set aside 20 percent or 200 bucks for your uh, sorry I'm in my truck it's getting hot in here I'm gonna open the window a little bit and there's trucks cruising by so it might be uh, noisy occasionally but anyway so yeah and, and two hundred dollars goes into your uh, uh, debt repayment program so to speak and I tried this method and it works really great as long as you don't have too many debt. Uh, the second system was uh, introduced uh, by Carol Keefe, K-E-E-F-E, -E -E, in her book uh, How to Get What You Want in Life with the Money You Already Have. And I probably like uh, her approach best of all because uh, her policy was uh, don't focus on, on your debts, basically screw them, pay only the minimum and surprisingly her strategy works because she was saying that a lot of times people get into debt because they don't have any goals in life you know and if you try to and another mistake people make according to Carol was that uh, they try to pay as much as possible to their debts you know being good citizens and all and what happens is that at the end of the month they don't have enough money left for bills so they borrow again and you know their debt only uh, increases instead of being paid off so what she was saying is that uh, as long as uh, at least part of your payment goes towards the principal just keep the minimum uh, thing going but instead start saving towards your goals you know and set aside money uh, for that and you have to decide you know what you actually want to achieve and uh, there's a lots of uh, lots of interesting examples in her book how people you know got ahead in life and actually paid off their debt that sooner because you know something changed in their life you know and uh, your life can be much more rewarding when you don't focus on debts so that's kind of a par paradoxical approach but uh, according to many people who tried this it really works so uh, 
see the link at the bottom of the screen and then check this out. check this uh, approach out now the next one the next system I'm gonna talk about it was uh, offered by David Bach B-A-C-H I'm not sure if I pronounced his name correctly but uh, basically uh, his system works great if you have more than one debt and he was using this uh, kind of a pyramid uh, uh, thing or he calls it DOLP number debt on last payment where you prioritize your um, uh, debts and first of all you pay you pay off the smallest debt and uh, this DOLP uh, each debt is assigned this DOLP number and basically all you do is you uh, you divide uh, the balance by the minimum payment and then you list your debts in the reverse order smallest DOLP number on top and then you start uh, basically you take your minimum payment and then you add at least ten dollars a day well let's say three hundred bucks a month towards that and you focus on repaying that debt while you pay only the minimum on the other ones right and then when you pay off the, that the first debt then you concentrate on the next one on the list you know but, and so this works great because you know the more debts you you pay off the more money you have uh, to play with so this kind of uh, uh, resembles to the other method um, uh, which was uh, offered by Dave Ramsey right uh, which I'm gonna talk about in a second oh Jesus getting out of here so method number four uh, was offered by Gail Vaz Oxlade I think that's how you say that name uh, she's uh, the uh, host of the popular TV show uh, Till Dead Do Us Part and basically uh, she uses a simple interest formula to figure out how much uh, you have to pay each month to pay off all your debt debts in 36 months and then the formula is 36 months and just don't use any interest no she was using sorry simple interest right let's say you take seven or eight percent and you multiply it by by three you know years and that's how you do it uh, so which again uh, might be okay as long as you don't have too many debts right now of course one more thing when you when you're focusing on repaying your debt debts the important thing is not to uh, not to get deeper into debt so you know stop using your credit cards uh, and get in, get in, get other loans until you're totally you know clear of all your debts now uh, that was Gail uh, Vaz Oxlade and her uh, website is gailvazoxlade.com and Dave Ramsey is uh, the last uh, a method I'm going to talk about basically he was saying that first you have to save one thousand dollars and ear market for emergencies and set it aside one thousand bucks and then you put your savings on hold you don't save anything and you devote all your resources towards debts which is kind of a, a totally opposite approach to what uh, Carol Keefe was uh, focusing on in her book right where she was saying that you have to focus on your goals and your dreams and forget about debt now this guy here says, you know, forget about dreams and goals and savings, you know, after you have one thousand dollars, but basically live only for your debts. So I don't know. Well, he made a career out of this approach. He has a radio show, so and I read uh, lots of testimonials in his book that this approach works too, and that's why I'm giving all these five proven methods because they're so different in nature, but you know they kind of work, right? So, but he was. Uh, his method of repayment is also, also similar to uh, David Box because he uses the snowball formula and he says he doesn't uh, say anything about the DOLP or dead on last payment uh, by the way that means that you close that card or you cancel that loan after it's repaid uh, uh, using the David Bach uh, method but here uh, Dave uh, recommends to go to go with the smallest debt first you know because he says forget about the interest rate forget about it's like uh, uh, you, you must try uh, you know get a couple of wins under your belt first so he says you have to keep keep yourself motivated so pay off the smallest debt first and basically list them you know in terms of uh, from the smallest to the biggest and devote all your resources and his website is DaveRamsey.com <laughs> sorry I'm sweating like a pig here but anyways it doesn't mean that I'm lying I'm very honest about these methods I try them all honestly and I have to say I still have debt so I guess I just have to uh, you know uh, 
concentrate more on my own goals. And by the way, one another great approach, uh, and David Buck was uh, saying about this, is that it's very important to make your repayment program automatic. And I can attest to this. Uh, if you just do all your, you know, uh, sharing, if you share all your money or you're setting aside the amounts manually each month, it's not going to work. You know, sooner or later you're going to screw up. So uh, at least, uh, like what I do, I have two main debts. So I set up an automatic bill payment from my checking account uh, towards these two debts. And each week I, I set aside a, a certain amount. And all I have to do now is make sure that I have enough money in my checking account and I can forget about uh, the debts. I know that, let's say, in two or three years, my big debt will be repaid and I'll be free. So, so once again, just to go over the things that we discussed, it's uh, five proven systems to pay off your debts quickly. Uh, one was by George Clayson, uh, offered in his book, The Rich Man from Babylon. The second one was by Carol Keefe, How to Get What You Want with the, in Life with the Money You Already Have. Number three was by David Buck. Number four was uh, Gail Vaz Oxlade. And number five was Dave Ramsey. And this was your host, Sergey Drachev in Houston, Texas. Stay free of debt.